Hey, Matthew Swinnerton here from Event Santa Cruz, and I am here with... Jamili Cannon. And Tim Gordon with Workbench. Thank you guys so much for coming here and joining David's backyard that we're in right now. <laughs> it's lovely. Yeah, thank you. Um, I, I'll t let him know. Um, so I want to know, how did you guys get in the world of design construction? Like, you know, how did that happen? It must be like, I mean, were you like as little kids, both like playing with your like, you know, Lincoln Logs and what do they call it? What do they call um, Tinker Toys? Yeah, or what yeah. was it? It's probably before your time, but yeah. But how, how did that happen? Definitely have always been um, a puzzler. So I really, okay. I really like um, how things go together or the puzzle. The puzzle, yeah. the problem solving aspect of this work. And um, when I was in high school, I liked math, but I didn't like math enough to be an engineer. And I liked art, but didn't like art enough to be an artist. Yeah. And um, and I applied to Cal Poly and got incredibly lucky and got into the architecture program. And that's how I got my start. Nice, what about you, yeah. Tim? Same, similar answer, puzzle, that's the thing. <laughs> it's a, it's the ultimate puzzle, okay. putting together a building um, and a site or like a group of buildings. Yeah. And I started off in, it was actually pre-med in school and then ended up working at um, uh, some grocery stores and management, things like this, and just trying to find my path, fell into construction actually as a laborer. And right, then okay. um, loved the puzzle, it was the <laughs> ultimate puzzle. So worked my way up and just kept with it. And yeah, so. So how did this puzzle get together? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's a crazy that you guys both had like. I mean, when did you guys, did you guys both like have this uh, this construction design background and then came together? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah really. Yeah. yeah, we met on a job site. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. and um, I had been begging to get out in the field. I did a lot of office. I did. I ran the projects from the office side, so all the contract management, arguing <clears throat> with the owner, going over changes. Um, you know, managing the money of, of, a, of these huge multi hundred million dollar jobs. Yeah. Um, and I finally got my chance to go out in the field and Tim helped me build a building. Wow. And that's how we met. And I was the field guy running all the, all the work outside yeah. um, with Jamili's back up from the office. And yeah, she had the opportunity to come do a, a little building on our site. Little is like 3,000 square foot. Um, <laughs> yeah. Custom. Yeah. Custom, yeah. pretty yeah. awesome. Four million dollar. Little space. Pod. Yeah. Um, so really, we connected there, started working together, realized how well we worked together. Yeah. So I feel like that should be another interview. I sort of like that. Yeah. How that came together, you two. Yeah. Um, so what, what what kind of like projects do you guys work on now? So we have um, we have our own development in Soquel. So we're building 16 townhomes in Soquel. Wow. We are in the planning phases of that. We're super excited about it. Um, we feel really passionately about providing housing for this community and um, really excited that there's an opportunity to do that. So that's on kind of one end of the spectrum yeah. is these multifamily developments. And yeah, and then we have a big push for ADUs right now. So helping as many people as you can um, with that process. It's, it's challenging because it's everything that it takes for say a single family home or multifamily development. It's all the same plan sets, all the same planning um, so we take those skills and apply them to something as small as an ADU because it's really personal for a lot of people. It's hard to get through and so we can help navigate that process. So those are two bigger areas, a few commercial projects. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff kind of in between that too. But on the ADUs too, we feel really strongly that those are a, those are a great way to add density and to allow people to age in place or allow their kids to stay at home or to allow for supplemental income, yeah. rental income. And in a place like Santa Cruz, those are so crucial for yeah. people being able to survive here yeah. and live here. For sure. Okay, so it seems like a lot of work. You guys are making me tired just talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> We're tired too. <laughs> yeah, it's at the end of the day here. Um, but you guys are tired and it is a lot of work, but you enjoy it, you're excited about it, for what? Because you could, you guys are very smart, mm -hmm. talented people. I can imagine you guys can do like so many. You would have been a doctor. Yeah, <laughs> you would have been this amazing puzzle maker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what? Um. You know why? Why do you love doing it? Um. So. Go well, ahead. really, yeah. we started off. Initially, we were gonna buy a house, okay. and being in San Francisco, the market was kind of outrageous. What we could afford was. Uh, kind of a dump um, so we turn that into well let's move a little bit further down the peninsula where can we go where we can afford a nice place so we don't have to dump a bunch of money in due to fix it up um, 
then we started looking at, okay, we're too far down the peninsula. Our work-life balance is gonna be really rough. We're gonna be commuting. It's gonna be kind of a nightmare. So we decided to look around, where could we go? What could we do? Um, we ended up on Santa Cruz and because Jamili has family here and she's lived here before. Um, so that's kind of like the background of how we got here. And really we do this to help solve the need that we had for other people. Um, do you want to kind of... Yeah, no, I, I mean, I feel like it's, we feel very passionate about being able to bring to life and create community and create housing for people. And um, so I think we were talking about this a little bit before the interview yeah. started, but the process of creation. So right now we are creating our business and we're creating yeah. homes and we're creating, we're doing a couple of commercial spaces that we know like our friends are going to go visit and say, Hey, I went that's to this super, shop and that's, yeah. that's so cool. So yeah. to see a, to have an idea that's just in your mind and then in a few years to see something real. That's, that's like tangible. tactile and that's, yeah, that's yeah. what they touch. Yeah. 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 The people yeah. can mm -hmm. live in and occupy and it has such a positive impact on your community. Yeah. Um, is really awesome. Yeah. That is cool. That's why we get up and do this every day. I was thinking about, I passed by one of my old houses um, a couple days ago and I was like, I had such like, like warm feelings about it. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I remember like all these like, things that my kids did and stuff and like, you know, that's what you guys are doing. You're creating that, like that template there for mm -hmm. them. Yeah. 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 The backdrop, like really the architecture is just the backdrop for your life to happen. Yeah, exactly. And we see yeah. such a, there's housing is such a big deal right now. Right. We had the skills to be able to help. Yeah. So we put them to use where we felt like we could call home and, and be hope, helpful, hoping to make an impact. Yeah. Okay. So build me a house. Yes. Yeah. We'll do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we would love to. <laughs> okay. So if someone wants to learn more about what you guys do, where do they find out information about you? So we are um, on the web okay. at workbenchbuilt.com. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. And our office phone number is 831-227-2217. Great. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank you Thanks. so Thanks. much, Matthew. Yeah. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, and you want to see more, why don't you subscribe to our channel? We would really appreciate it. And also, make sure you turn on your notifications because then if you do, you'll be the first one to actually see our video. And lastly, again, if you like the video, why don't you like the video? Okay, thank you very much.